guys, what is up? Um, today I am going to be doing a video that might, people might think is I'm trying to be offensive or I'm setting back like a movement or something like that. But I want to talk about this because it's something that I actually have felt for a long time. Someone in the comments will know, like leave in the comments below, like someone will know I did a video like maybe... It was right before I started dating Jason. It was like in January of like 2018. Yeah, 2018. I did a video, and I don't know if it's still up, I think it is, where I wanted to be referred to only as T because I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't feel like I identified as a girl. Now this seems like crazy and weird and shocking because I was born a female, um, and I, I'm ultra girly now. I'm very like, I'm very girly, right? Because when I was younger, I was teased a lot because they said I looked like a boy. I had a boy haircut. I had, you know, just stuff I couldn't even control, like just a hair on my lip, hair on my face. So people would call me like a man. Like there was one nickname and it's, it's not even funny. It's not even weird. It's not even like clever. They'd be like, Trisha the man paid us. Like I swear that it sounds like I made that up. Like it's freaking weird. I didn't really get it then. I don't get it now, but they would just be like that I was like a man and I didn't get it other than my lip. I know they made fun of my hair lip a lot. Anyways, so to overcompensate for that when I got older, like when I was like 18 and I could start like, you know, like spending money on my hair and like all that stuff like that. Um, and I used to always wear sports bra because my natural breasts were very like, one was uneven, like they were hella uneven and one was really saggy and one was kind of up. So I always wore like sports bras to like flat my chest. And I never liked the attention as a, uh, so after I was like a man, blah, blah, blah. Around middle school is when I started like getting breasts and I started getting like attention from like older guys, like not even high schoolers, but like just grown ass men. And I didn't like that at the time, which is very weird, I know, because not very hypersexual. I'm very much about boobs and like showing them off. And that's my issue because here's the thing I identify with men better. I always, people always think like there's something wrong with me because I don't have like that many girlfriends. Like, I love girls. Like, I do love girls and I love like, I love like their sensitivity and all that stuff like that. But that's why I identify more as like a gay man because I like guys, but I also identify as a guy, if that makes sense. The thing that kind of like stops it is I do love, which a lot of gay men do too, I do love like glam and voluptuousness. So, in my head, I feel like I'm a transgender female to male, but also like a drag queen. That's how I, that's kind of how I've like r rationalized it in my head because like, okay, let me just tell you why I identify as a boy more so and from an early age. I don't like to be center of attention except when I want to be center of attention. So like, okay, think of like a drag queen, white, right? They do like their full glam and everything, but in their day to day, they're not, they're very like low key, whatever. That's kind of me. Like when I want to put on a show, I put on the hair, I put on the makeup, I put on the outfits. But if you guys know me on this channel or my second channel or just in life, I never wear hair or makeup like in my day to day. I usually look crazy. Like watch my second channel. I look insane. Like as far as like girliness goes, like I just never wear makeup. Like oh my god, if I have like zits on my face, like they just like let them go. Like and um and so I've always just kind of related to guys on that level and I've always just been attracted to guys but not straight guys. I've always been attracted to gay guys. So that's why I've like always thought I like maybe I'm a gay man. Um, and then when it comes to girls, like I admire girls' beauty so much and I just like think girls are so beautiful to like look at. But I, and like straight guys like kind of turn me off it's very weird. Like, I hate, like, over-masculine energy. Um, so, like, as a girl, I just never really related to that. And then the final thing that kind of brings it full, I feel transgender almost, is I've always had penis envy. Yeah. Where I just... This sounds so crazy to say out loud, but, like, I just always thought my life would be easier if I had that part. That if I asserted myself, I wouldn't be a bitch, but I would be, like, a man. And that's how I always think. When I talk to people, I, I think of myself as being assertive, and I think of myself as masculine energy. But because I'm a female and I was born with female parts, people think, oh, she's a bitch. So, the whole transgender 
community has always like called to me for some reason and I don't and I never knew why I'm like well if you guys I'm not like I don't go out and advocate for it although I would be so down and I and I and I love obviously I love the transgender community so like I should be the advocate for it but what was always stopping me was like I always thought oh my gosh am I trans and I know like I know I've like trolled and stuff in the past and so I don't want people to think this is like a trolling video I've known like I've like come out as like gay before I've come out as bisexual before and that's kind of why I have issues in general with just terms in general and labels in general like male female gay straight but because I don't know if I would say I'm confused I would say I'm all of it and that's why I don't like labels in general like I don't like and I've dated people who are bisexual and people are like well they're gay because they date guys more than girls or they're gay or they're straight like I don't like that you have to be one or the other and you have to like something more than the other I've always felt that way even with transgendered people like I, I've always been fascinated because there are some who transition fully and then there are some that only transition partially and then there are some that don't necessarily transition at all but just choose to identify as a different gender and I think I'm more of I just choose to identify as a boy and I don't and I know this is where it's gonna get a little scandalous I don't love pronouns like they and them because that's super confusing I think personal opinion and I that might be unpopular opinion because I know Sam Smith recently is like I'm a they or something that sounds like plural people and while people think I'm schizophrenic and have multiple personalities like I choose not to identify as multiple personalities so I get it but I think like I don't think you have to necessarily choose one gender I think you can be a guy some days and I think you could be a girl some days and that's how I feel so while I love the term like girly and femme I think that applies to me as a gay man the problem with identifying as a gay man when you have female body parts is that you're not going to be able to fully satisfy yourself by being with a gay man, No, nor are, am I going to be able to satisfy a partner, like a gay man partner. And that's what's frustrating, and I think it's frustrating just in general, and as I have watched so many beautiful like transgender people like come out and stuff like that, I know with dating it's very difficult because people... Even if you are... Even if, you, let's say, you fully transition, right? I'm just going to use like a very broad generic transgender person like male to female and you have that full transformation you are a you have breasts and you have a vagina and you have all of that even if you have all of that and you tell a guy like hey I was born a male like guys will be pissed straight guys gay guys whatever and same but same like in my terms like let's say I wanted to be male to female right or female to male okay like obviously I look like a female now so if that's not what they're attracted to they're attract attractive for a mask and you know the parts that obviously I'm not going to satisfy them but let's say I went full transition and got the parts and everything and I said hey I was actually born a female that would turn off a lot of guys as well and I know this because I talked to guys about this I've talked to gay guys about it straight guys about it and I get it and for me I've been with transgendered people and um I I've only been with a male to female I've never been the opposite way around so I don't actually know what that transition is like but to me it's like it's the same thing it's not different you surgery is amazing these days that you can't even tell a difference if that makes sense and i've been with a full transition and i've been with a partial transition male to female and um like it all works the same feels the same and when you're with a male to female trans like and they haven't fully transitioned on the bottom you still get a woman if that makes sense you're still getting a woman energy with a different feel if you know what I mean um so I think it's more important to be open and I'm not saying the world needs to be open I'm saying with me in my mind I need to be open and while my name is Trish like I never really identified with that name I've always actually hated the name Trish and for some reason I never liked it but I just realized now because it's such a it's a, it's a female name and I don't really identify as female do I fully identify as male I don't know well now this past week I had the boy, societal boy haircut, which is like short, and I've never felt more freer and liberated in my life. I wasn't getting looks from gross straight men. I didn't have to do my hair in the morning, but it wasn't looked down upon. It wasn't like someone was like, oh my god, your hair, which I have gotten those multiple times when I don't brush my hair or whatever. People always like your hair, but while I had that on, no one said anything. I could just literally roll out of bed and just go and I felt free and I felt happy I felt really happy I didn't have to worry about hair or my body so much I know guys are like into their bodies and stuff like that but I didn't feel that way as a 
boy. I felt like, oh, I'm really, really free of myself and my body. And um, while I did have like new boobs in my butt, I felt like a thick boy. And I kind of like love being a thick boy. I don't know. It's kind of like, I know it kind of sounds crazy. And I'm sure people think I'm crazy, but I just, I feel felt it and like you'll see in the vlogs I have a lot of footage I felt happy and I felt like just it was I was just feeling it more so than I've ever felt glam or anything and I think it honestly is just a feeling and I don't want people to like be offended I don't want trans I don't want trans to be offended or gay or straight or whatever by thinking I'm like mocking this or I'm confused and I know that's such a misconception that transgender people are confused and it's not that I'm confused it's that I identify as both I just don't necessarily like the term they or them. So do I think I'm transgender? Yes, a thousand percent. Do I identify with my natural born gender? A thousand percent. So I think that's where I'm at and I feel really free and liberated and I wanted to talk about this because I think it's important that you can identify as masculine and feminine. You can identify as male and female if you choose. I mean if you're a man and you love being a man, awesome. If you're a female and loving a female, awesome. But I've never loved being a female. I've never been so excited about being a female. I love the attention I get when I'm glammed and dolled up. But let's be real, I'm basically a drag queen. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'm a show. I am a smoke show. I get my hair and makeup done and I am someone completely different. And then when I'm just low key and not wearing hair, not doing makeup, and it's not to say like females need to be girly and always have to do their hair and makeup, and that what that's what makes a female. I'm not saying it that way. I'm saying it more of like when I have that masculine male energy in me with the short hair, with the pants, with my boobs strapped down more, with not getting that attention from straight men. I felt myself and I felt so freaking happy. And that's why I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. Like I identify as a boy a lot of times I when I don't wear hair and makeup I don't care about critiques of like you look disgusting you look this you look that like I'm I'm free I'm a free person not to say you have to change it and call me T I like the name T because like I think, I think that's a very like generic and both gender name but I mean I'm Trish I'm Trish that's what it is that's my born name and stuff like that but I don't know I think you can be any gender you want to be. I don't think you have to decide what gender you are. I don't think you have to announce what gender you are. I think we can be a transgender person without having the judgment of, oh, you're not trans enough. You're not transitioning enough. You're not passable. You're not undetectable. Like that kind of stuff. So I think a lot of my attraction, especially to gay men as opposed to straight men, come from the fact that I kind of relate to being a gay man and I know that sounds crazy and I don't again don't want to offend anyone but that's how I feel and that's why I have so many gay guy friends because they are out and they are masculine and they have masculine energy um but they're also like sensitive and sweet and they also like admire women and respect women something straight men don't do us e e either so I've always just liked their energy and I liked that and I've always related more to that you know and I never understood females being catty or competitive because I just never felt that way with another female and I think I've been insecure in relationships with other females because in my heart I didn't fe feel female at all so like if if someone cheated on me in a relationship I was like oh it's because I'm I'm masculine energy I'm a male if that makes any sense so anyways I something I just had to like get off my chest it's something that I've been feeling really great about and while yes I do have like hair extensions back and stuff like that one day I might just shave it all off and chop it all off to show, like, to be proud of my male side that is in me and inside me and it's who I am. So, <sighs> I know that's maybe not so dramatic for some people, but for me to get that off my chest and say it and so that way you guys understand me better of where I'm coming from just in general makes me feel so good and so happy and um, I appreciate all support and just know that, like, I love being in the LGBT plus community I love it I love it I love it so much and whether that's me as a bisexual woman me as a gay man me as an ally me as a transgender I want to be a part of it I want to do more and I think it's something that we need to be talking about more and it's not necessarily just a little group of people like you have to be LGBTQ one of those to be in it you could be all of them you could be some of them you could be partial that and it's accepting and it's all inclusive and it's not just like straight people and LGBT. No, it's we can all be together and this can mix a little with that and this can mix a little with that and then it's just a nice world we live in. So it's not necessarily a coming out video. I just want it to be a more normalized thing that you can be any gender you choose on any given day. And that's it.
All right, guys, I have some BTS of the day that I chose to be a male Zac Efron, and then also some footage of just me literally living my best male life even after we were done shooting. So check that out. It'll be here on this channel and my second channel. So that's how I love you guys, and I'll see you guys soon.